Hey friends, it's Jacqueline here. In today's video, I'm bringing my review and full day wear test on the brand new Givenchy Prince Liber Skincare Glow Foundation. But before we get started, and if you're new here, I hope that you can give me that opportunity and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you ring that post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads and come and follow me on my Instagram. And now, if you wanna know all the details about this new luxury foundation, how it works on dry, sensitive, mature skin over four then just keep on watching. Should I call this Foundation Friday? Or it must be that I just feel like this has been the week for trying on foundations. Not too long ago, I think two or three days ago, I uploaded my full-on review and word test on the new Dior Forever Natural Nude. And today I have another luxury brand with another glowy foundation. I'm talking about Givenchy with Prince Libre Skin Caring Glow. This foundation has been available in Europe and now it has come here to the United States. I bought it from Sephora. It cost me $49, which I think it's a very... Uh, modest price for a luxury brand. I know $49 is $49, but for a luxury brand, I mean, uh, usually luxury brands, they are more into the $60 range. Anyhow, this foundation is made in France. It comes with 30 mLs or one fluid ounces. It's made with zero alcohol, but it does have fragrance. It does have perfume. That's the nature of, you know, luxury brands. It doesn't have any parabens or silicones. It's supposed to give you a light coverage, but also it's a long wearing foundation. They, they say that it will give you about 12 hours of wear. And we're gonna do a wear test today too. 24 hours of hydration. And it's supposed also to give you a blurring effect. And if you're new here, welcome to my channel. I'm so happy for all of you guys who are tuning in today and I'm very grateful for your time. I am a woman on my fourth floor, like I said, so I do have signs of aging. I do have enlarged pores on my cheeks. I do have dry skin, sensitive skin. On this area of my face is more into the normal side, but things that are of my concern is the texture. I don't want any product on any makeup product that will emphasize any texture, my large pores, my fine lines, and I like a very natural makeup, and I love radiant foundations. Now, this foundation comes in 30 different shades, which is great. Not only it's better than a previous foundation that they launched, but also you can see that they have work on the undertones. I mean, there is some warm tones, neutral tones, cool tones too, but you can also see the shade range being expanded, which I really, really appreciate. I got it in the shade 3C275. Hopefully I got it right. I don't know. Well, here it is, the unicorn. Very nice, black, simple with silver. I mean, very on brand. And then as far as the bottle goes, it looks super, super nice. I mean, really, really pretty. All the bottle is recyclable too. I mean, super nice. Let's see it here. It comes with a nice pump too. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna use my Tatcha, the Silk Canvas, on this side of my face, just on the pores area, and on this side, I would just leave it with nothing. I only have my skincare, so there's no other primer in it. And like I said, this is gonna be just targeted right here. On one side of my face, I will be using a sponge, and on the other side, I will be using a brush. I really love that they have their monogram here too. So many details, I love details. This is more of a liquidy consistency. So definitely it's a very light coverage foundation. I really like that I can see my skin. It's glowy, but not extremely glowy in the point of being greasy. I'm gonna build it up just a little more and see how it looks like.
I'm just gonna set my concealer with this Dior Backstage powder, no powder, setting powder. <laughs> this is a new one from Dior and I have been enjoying it. So I'm just gonna do it under my eye area and set the concealer. Makeup is complete. I have completely skipped setting powder with the exception of my under eye area to set my concealer. Also, I'm skipping setting a spray. And let me tell you that so far, this foundation after makeup application looks radiant. It doesn't look super glowy, but I'm very curious to see how it's gonna act throughout the day. Now that I'm in Florida, the weather is different, it's more humid, it's more hot, and I just want to see how this foundation goes throughout the day. I will have to say though, it's very lightweight. I mentioned it that this foundation has a fragrance, but the fragrance is so, I mean like almost imperceptible that if you feel a little sniff of not even floral, but kind of like a clean kind of like scent, it would just go away pretty much right away. It feels that it's very hydrating and moisturizing, so I see that. And again, light coverage, as far as pores and texture, because of the type of coverage, I mean, I can see all my freckles, which I absolutely love, is not emphasizing neither my pores or my texture. On this side right here is where I didn't use the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer, so it, it looks pretty much the same on the other side. And I will have to say though, I do have more sand damage on this area, I guess because of driving, I don't know, but I <laughs> I just have my large pores are more noticeable on this area usually and is not emphasizing them. Okay, my friends, so let me tell you what time it is right now. It is 8.14 in the morning. I'm just gonna go out and about for my day and then I will give you a couple check-ins throughout the day and see how this foundation is wearing. So just stay tuned. A quick check-in right here is 3.50 right now. Uh, let's see, the foundation, I think it's pretty, you know, wearing pretty well. It has to stay with that glow. It's it's a little bit more than natural. It just has a little bit more glow, a little bit more than radiance, but it's more glowy, just like the name says it. And then it has worn off somewhat right here on my chin area, these areas right here. It's not gathering anywhere, and it's not really emphasizing my large pores, but you can see that it's kind of fading away in certain areas just a little, but it's not melting down. I mean, for being, you know, a hot day, it looks pretty, pretty good, pretty good. Okay, my friends, I will keep going throughout my day and then I will see you in a little. Right here, right now it's 5.42. Oh my gosh, is this blinding you? There you go. So it has been a very warm day. I'm actually sweating right now. And for being sweating, I'm impressed that the foundation is not sliding all over. Like I said, I lost coverage right here on the chin area, but that's pretty normal because, you know, you. I, mean, I eat, I'm on the computer, I'm grabbing right here. And just a little bit of the coverage right here. But other than that, I mean, it's not emphasizing texture gathering on fine lines or on the crevices i mean it's looking pretty good i will have to say though it's very very dewy very glowy so if you have combination skin or oily skin this is the thing it's kind of like the dior foundation in the sense that they are just so lightweight, um, light coverage for the most part. This one right here is definitely more buildable than this one right here, but in essence, they just have such a lightweight 
from lesion and light coverage that it will be really hard for them to look cakey at least that's what I see it on my end definitely this foundation different than the one from Dior this one will need to be set like I'm thinking the months ahead like right now it's still winter time it's looking more like summertime but as we approach the summer months and you know when the heat really will come very high and humidity too I think that using this foundation right here at least the one from Givenchy I'm gonna need some type of setting powder and perhaps the setting spray from Charlotte Tilbury again not because it's slipping and sliding but because um, it's not able to control you know natural oils from the skin so that's that's that right there but other than that the foundation looks pretty beautiful I mean like pretty good it has that beautiful glow um, I know right now you're gonna be like that looks kind of greasy Jacqueline yeah but be reminded I didn't use any setting powder so that's something that you may want to consider and the good thing is like it's not heavyweight it's not emphasizing my enlarged pores or anything like that this foundation right here has a lot of coconut derivatives so first things first if you have a allergic reaction to coconut derivatives, make sure you do a patch test. And therefore, because of the coconut derivatives and also the glycerin is more emollient, is more glowy to the skin. I think it's a pretty good foundation. Okay, my friends, and I think this makes it for this video. I hope that you enjoy it. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section down below. Let's carry on the conversation right there. And while you're at it, and if you haven't done so yet, I hope that you can give me that opportunity and subscribe to my channel. Make Make sure you ring that post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads and come and follow me on my Instagram. If you like this video, do not forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, share with family and friends. And until the next time, I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful day. Bye bye.